Okay guys, uh, yeah, that was an interesting last video, but uh, it's time to start a new series. Now, I've talked about this in several of my previous videos, and I'm really anxious and excited to get started on this project. i put some considerable amount of thought into it, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And this series is going to be called Let's Build a Tank. And it is kind of geared toward the beginner builder. Um, I told you time and again, this is probably one of my overall favorite kits of all time. And I think it's excellent for a beginner, and I've already covered the reasons why. It's the um, quality of the parts, uh, the detail, and of course the epic to me uh, uh, ease of build. And um, so I'm going to build this uh, not entirely out of the box. And now you're thinking, well, how is that completely beginner? There's some things I'm going to do um, in this project I think that are going to be pretty interesting. Hopefully uh, time will tell. So this build is in mind covering the basic steps and the basic processes involved in building uh, a piece of 135th scale armor. Uh, the tools used, the gluing techniques, all of that is going to be covered. Uh, and uh, I hope to get this done, you know, in not so many steps. And also without the use of an airbrush. Now I've got airbrushes and I still prefer to use that. And uh, all I'm going to use um, for this project are these Tami lacquers and the spray cans, the rattle cans, TS3s, because that's all a lot of modelers are going to have access to. So base coat's going to be in TS3, which is armor dark yellow or just Tamiya dark yellow. I am going to use the green Motlin camo cream. I bought this some time ago. This is dark green. This is TS2. Uh, I'll cover how I'm going to do the camo scheme when I get to it. And of course, I'm, it will be primed in um, the very expensive but extremely nice uh, Tamiya surface primer because I'm a big time believer in priming. So uh, I'm not going to weather this as much because I don't think most beginners, in, well, to start, would, would go crazy with weathering, although certainly that's an option. I might do some simple washes on it, maybe a pen wash or sludge wash. You know, using oil. Uh, that, of course, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss as I get toward the end of the build. But let me kind of kind of what I have in mind. I've got uh, a bunch of spares from a previous build in this kit, and so let me show you kind of what uh, I am going to add to it. There is some aftermarket. Uh, now, this product is actually a Tamiya product. Uh, it's um, a Stug 3 Photo Etch Grill set that comes from Tamiya. And uh, you just they look naked without the grills on them. <laughs> so I'm going to also, you know, show the. This is very easy to work with. There's I don't have to do any bending. This is strictly cut this off the photo etch fret and then install it on the tank. So I'm going to cover that. And I've got a wonderful little RB Models uh, turn metal barrel that I'm also going to install. Once again, I realize this is not all for beginners. Uh, I'm going to take the old barrel, another well a the other barrel from my spares box um, that's for this kit and also um, do it with the original kit barrel so you can see how to uh, remove the seam and all that but uh, this is the one that I'm actually going to install on the kit but uh, I think this is going to be a fun build so this is going to be the first part in this series uh, the next video of course will show me um, beginning to do the build I, I actually um, get that started and uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this project. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's uh, Let's Build a Tank. So thanks uh, for tuning in. I, I appreciate uh, uh, you guys' patience with me as I do this project, and uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, take care, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.